right here I got the API test kit and this is a fluval test kit and I just wanted to compare the two nitrate tests. So I guess I'll start with the API because that's what I'm familiar with. So this is the row for the nitrate test kit. Uh, I use the nitrate test kit way more than I ever use in nitrate and I never use the pH test kit. But either way, so I run out of this first and this was cheaper on Amazon because So API test kit uses these two bottles and you put 10 drops, 10 drops, and this. And what I got here, the Fluval one, I believe this was actually named something else when I bought it on Amazon. I guess uh, Fluval bought the company and renamed it. Uh, I've noticed Fluval's been going out by a lot of aquarium companies, actually. So. So it looks like for the NO3 test kit from Fluval, which is what I have here, you actually need three bottles. The color chart is very different. So, as you can see, the Fluval one uses a purple scale, and the API uses an orange to red scale. So, from how it looks, it looks like API has a bigger range because it goes from 0 to 5 to 10 to 20 to 40 to 80 to 160 this was 5 10 20 50 110 and after that there is no more now to be fair once you get past 110 you're probably gonna do a water change so which is a fine range but yeah, api still has the bigger mid range because this goes from 10 to 20 to 50 and this goes 10 20 40 then 80 Or it goes to 160. Well, I'd argue that the ranges are used by similar. The only thing that's very obvious is that the colors, um, colors look fairly different, and how easy they both seem pretty difficult to differentiate the different colors. Because I can imagine telling this purple. From this purple would be difficult or telling this yellow from this yellow is going to be pretty difficult as well or even telling this purple from this purple or these three purples look basically the same on this side of the chart like, can you really tell the difference between these three purples it's going to be very difficult i'm telling the difference probably between these three yellows so, same common problem with the nitrate test kits. Uh, pretty difficult to tell the difference between different color ranges. But they're still good for averages, and that's what I like to use them for. Oh yeah, the convenient thing is, Fluval's test kit actually comes with a pipette, which makes it much easier to get the right water level. One of the other advantages of the Fluval test kit over the API is that if uh, you have zero, the reading would be completely clear compared to a purple. While if you have the API test kit, a zero is a yellow and a five is a slightly darker yellow. So uh, it'd be much easier to tell if you have zero nitrates using the Fluval than using the API. So this is the API test kit with a nitrate reading. I don't remember exactly what the reading was. So I just took this from my fish tank. Both tests I done here from the same fish tank water. So they are the same nitrate reading, but 
as you can see the different colors um you can take your bet on which one's easy to read i'm personally used to the api so i find the api actually easier to read or to get a guesstimate but as you can see they're still fairly hard to tell the difference between the colors um the purple and the different shades of orange now here you could see the zero reading test where i just use tap water and as you can see the api is still that yellow but it might be more difficult to tell that it's a zero compared to the fluval test kit which is completely clear Turn up. Let's, let's go.